I think there's a wild man in everybody. I'm a split personality. Ozzy Osbourne and John Osbourne is, is two different people. John Osbourne is talking to you now. But if you want to be Ozzy Osbourne, you know, it, it, it's like, takes over. As a kid, I was afraid of everything. And so you just crawl into your fear hole, you know, and you be, you're an easy prey for the bully. And so when you do go find a bit of booze or dope, or whatever, you go, I found it. And then I could never get there again. Alcohol and dope, and, and, and being the class clown anyway, it suddenly sums it all up, you know. I used the talent of making people feel somewhat entertained when I was making Goofy around. To take it on stage in my music, uh, I suppose it's the same kind of a thing. I don't know what music would be like if it weren't for the influence of Ozzy. Ozzy changed everything. I mean, I, you can't say anyone's immortal, but I think that Ozzy in that time of his own. I think Ozzy's music is timeless. Made, makes me cry and gives me the chills. It's just perfect. Dad is a kid from the streets who worked in factories. He's very much this working class, blue collar guy. The working class thing is key because you grew up with nothing, and you do everything you can every day so you don't go back to nothing. It was all about escaping your reality to something better. He left one of the biggest rock bands in the world and became bigger, a credible artist on his own, finding great new talent, and then made it huge on TV. Nobody had done that. He is the most irresistible madman you will ever meet in your life. He is the real Iron Man. The reason why I do what I do is because it's what everybody wants to do, but I ain't got the guts to do. And all I am is honest. Well, 